guys, it's Tom from the video. Today I'll be bringing you a review on set 75310, the Duel on Mandalore. The set comes with 147 pieces and costs $20 in the United States. To start off like usual, here's the box, and here is the instructions. Now let's dive right into the minifigures. Up first here we have Ahsoka, just a very simple figure, the exact same figure that came in the AAT, so if you have that set, this will be the exact same figure. Nothing too different about her, but if you've never seen her before, she definitely looks pretty good. The head tails, as most people say, are too long because those are kind of the adult Tagretta head tails. But nonetheless, they still look pretty good. She has two blue lightsabers and pretty good detail on the torso and the legs. So let's move on to the next figure. The next figure we have here is Darth Maul. Now this is actually my first updated Darth Maul. I do have the older one from 1999. So this Maul was definitely a good look into what the modern day malls are like. He comes with a double bladed red lightsaber and he definitely looks very good. I think this mall looks very good. Good season seven mall to uh, have here. And yeah, I would say overall, just the printing and everything looks very good. His leg detail, cause he has the robotic legs, looks very good. And then kind of like the detail of his face, like the, the Dathomirian male faces and all that kind of stuff. He looks very good, so. I just have to definitely say that he's a great figure. And then one thing I forgot to mention is Ahsoka's face is double-sided. So let's move on to the set. Now here we have the set itself. It's definitely not very big. It's not It's not very piece intensive. It, it's very simple is what I'm trying to really say. There's not much to it really. I mean, it comes with the chamber that Maul was in or kind of the, the prisoner carrier thing, whatever it is that the Mandalorians used on Jedi and this is kind of the throne. It's very simple, but definitely, a, I'd say a good looking throne. And I would have to agree with about everybody who says this, that this set probably has some of the best stickers I've ever seen in a set. First, we have this, uh, the prisoner kind of transportation device for force users. And it's very simple. It just has a, some hinges on here and some studs for the prisoner to stand on. And you do have this amazing sticker here. It has some fantastic detail that you can put on this front like glass panel so that when you open it up, set it down, go over, grab your mall figure or whoever you want if you're gonna put someone different in here. You can close it up and then you can see his eyes through there, which that definitely looks really cool. I hope you can see it in the camera, it's a little dark. Yeah, there he is. Definitely looks really good, especially in person. You can totally see his eyes and everything. So definitely a really, really good thing. You definitely want to get this this sticker perfect because it's a really, really good sticker and you don't want to mess this one up. So next we have the throne itself. Now, the throne, it's pretty plain. It doesn't have too much. And that's why they added one thing that I'll show you in a second. But here we have the throne. It's got a sticker on the front. And then this, these stickers are actually really, really nice. And if you line them up good, then they definitely look really good on the build. But overall, it's just really, really simple. There's just a mechanism where the window pops back on some Technic pins here, some of the looser ones or more loose ones. And yeah, overall, just a really simple throne. And then, like I said earlier, there's not much to this throne. It's just a throne. So I know it's not in the show, but they still added it because they needed play features. They put in this little, I don't know, container compartment for a blaster, blaster pistol down there. So it's definitely a nice little thing to add, not necessary, and doesn't really go with the show or anything that happens in it, but it's still a little good thing to add as a little play feature because there's not much really to this set. You just get the throne, the window, this, the figures, and that's it. There's nothing else really to it, so definitely glad that they added that in there. It's a nice little detail to the set. So let's head out of this video. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you like the review. Subscribe to the channel if you want more reviews of the Star Wars stuff. And comment down below your thoughts on this set. Now, what are my thoughts on this set? Well, I would say it is not worth $20. I think you should wait for clearance or something of that sort. Definitely has does not have the price per piece up there. And it's kind of weird because it doesn't use too many big pieces. So I don't really know why price per piece isn't really there. But price per piece doesn't really matter. Um, I guess like with the gunship, for example, it doesn't matter because the gunship comes with a lot of big pieces, but this isn't about the gunship. This set is not worth $20 in my opinion. Too many figures, like every other dual set is perfectly fine, but just the, like the piece count and what you're really getting with this, I don't think is worth the $20. Overall, it's a good set, but just wait for it to go down in price because it'll be a much better set when you pay less money for it. 
though it's still just five dollars if it goes down to let's say 15 it's still much better than paying the full 20 because i don't fully think it's worth it so that's going to be about it for this review thank you all for watching and i'll see you in another video